In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress website. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress website. Google Analytics is a great way of tracking what your visitors are up to on your website, where they came from, what pages they're looking at, and all sorts of information that's really useful in terms of gauging the success of your site. Google Analytics is totally free, and the plugin we're going to be using today is free as well. So let's get on the computer and get it installed. So you're going to need a Google Analytics account in order for this to work. So if you haven't got one already, head over to analytics.google.com and sign in with your Google ID and then you can create a new account. You'll get a form that looks a bit like this. You just need to uh, give it a name, uh, give your website a name. You can have more than one website within an account, so that's pretty handy. Um, and then enter your website URL, and industry category and time zone and ticks and boxes, uh, and then click Get Tracking ID, uh, and then you should be pretty much ready to go in terms of heading over to your WordPress website and getting it installed. If you've already got an account, then you're gonna to need to uh, come into here and then go to Property. If you wanna create a new property uh, on the drop down, then select Create New Property. And uh, again, it's just a, a simple form that you need to uh, fill in and click Get Tracking ID. Uh, and then you're all good. Uh, I'm currently logged into my Boot Boutique account. I've been running analytics for a little while, um, but today I've decided that I want to uh, change the plugin because the one I was using, uh, which was Google Analyticator, uh, wasn't very good. So yeah, it was time for a new one. So I thought, hey, why not create a video and share with you guys um, how it all works. So let's head over to Boot Boutique now and uh, add the plugin. I'll just pop it up in a uh, different tab. I'm already logged in. And let's install our Google Analytics plugin. So I'm going to go into the dashboard. I'm going to go to plugins and add new. And the plugin is called Google. Oh, I've already got it in my auto suggest for WordPress. Google Analytics for WordPress. Pretty straightforward sort of name. And it's this one here with a little monster. Let's click install now. There are a number of other analytics plugins available as you can see. So you don't like this one, be sure to check out some of the others. They're all much of a muchness in terms of functionality and setup, so you should be fine. But this is one of my favorites, and I'm sure you'll be fine with it. So that's installed, let's click Activate. And now we're ready to go and, and set it up. So it's asking if we want to send them some usage data. That's really up to you, depends on uh, whatever, whether you like wearing a tinfoil hat. <laughs> you don't wanna share any data, that sort of thing. It's up to you, I've clicked Allow. And now we've got a link here to configure our Google Analytics settings. So first thing we need to do is authenticate with our Google account. So let's click this big button. Then next. And then we need to add a code here to get the code, click this button above. Make sure you're logged into Google uh, with the right account, the one that you've already got your analytics uh, set up on. And click allow. It's going to give you this code of letters and numbers. Let's copy it to the clipboard and go back here and paste it in and then click next. Now we get to choose a profile. <clears throat> I've got quite a few, so I'm just going to start typing. And there's my boot boutique. Then next. And then we're done. So let's click Save Changes. And then we're done. If we go into the Tracking tab here, we've got a few options that we can go through. So the first one is to ignore these user roles from tracking, which is handy because that means that when you're logged into your WordPress site and you're making changes, that sort of stuff, uh, you're not gonna be tracking yourself and skewing your data. Next option is to track outbound links and download links or outbound clicks even. I think this is very useful. You can see where people are clicking off. It's especially useful if you're running an affiliate website because you can track all the clicks that you get on your affiliate links, which is kind of cool. Next one, we've got demographics. Um, you want to turn that on if you are running uh, remarketing campaigns, that sort of stuff. I do think you need to add um, something to your privacy policy if you're going to do that though. Check Google's documentation there. 
Here, if you want to anonymize IP addresses, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. Enhanced link attribution is kind of handy. It gives you more details about the links that are clicked uh, within your reports. Uh, you can turn on anchor tracking. So this is when people click on an anchor within a page, you know, maybe to scroll down or scroll up if you want to track that stuff. Uh, I think you get quite a lot of data if you do that. And there's more kind of uh, options here around allowing anchors and linkers and all this sort of stuff. Generally, you're not going to need to mess with these settings. Just as it is, we'll be fine. Um, here we can track file downloads if you've got that sort of thing. Now this section is particularly useful for affiliate links. So say for example, all your affiliate links follow the path slash out or go, and then there's a word and then when people click on that link, they then get redirected off to the uh, affiliate site. If you add that uh, separator word, maybe it's out or go or whatever, um, then it will kind of know that that's an affiliate link and it will all be grouped nicely within a report and you can add a label here. Um, if you're running those sort of links, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, then don't worry about it. And the rest, uh, well, these four options are all premium, so I won't bother with them because we're not got the premium version. There is an e-commerce section here, so if you want, uh, if you're running WooCommerce and you want to set up e-commerce tracking, then you're going to need to upgrade your account to do that. Uh, I think that's a really useful thing to do if you are running e-commerce because you can start to get some financial data in your analytics reports, which is is kind of cool. I'm not quite sure how much it is to upgrade. Let's have a quick look. Yeah. Well, that one's not too bad, 39 a year, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's up to you, I don't think unless, uh, you're not gonna need it unless you're running e-commerce. Last few things, we've got some compatibility here, you've got set the domain, that's used if you've got multiple domains, don't worry about that. Uh, debug is there if you've got a problem and then you can add some custom stuff if you need to, but you're not gonna need to because that's kind of advanced. So we should all be tracking and we should have a dashboard here. So let's click on dashboard, which shows us some of the analytics data, which is kind of cool and your top posts and pages and traffic sources and countries. And so yeah, really nice way of kind of viewing your data without uh, going to analytics. We can double check that the tracking is working. Um, if we go back to um, analytics and if I go to the real time section, Uh, we can see if um, oh, there's someone on the site already look, from Istanbul. So I'm guessing it is tracking, but let's just be doubly sure that the tracking is working. What I'm going to do is just fire up an incognito tab because then I won't be logged into the site. And if you remember from the settings, it's not going to track uh, me when I'm logged in. So I need to access the site as a normal user, as it were. So the site's just loading up. If we go back to analytics, Oh, it's gone up to two, which is promising. And let's go to locations, UK, let's just click down, devices. I'm guessing that's me, um, but I'm not in devices, but let's just, <laughs> let's click about and see what happens. Let's go into Lucky Brand, back to analytics. Yeah, lucky brand, there we go. So my location is slightly out, that's gonna be down to my ISP. But yeah, it's tracking, it's all working. You're all done. Thanks for watching. I hope that all worked out well for you and you've now got Google Analytics up and running on your site. If you like this video, then please click the like button below. That really helps me out. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to be the first to know when I upload some new videos. In the meantime, here is a video, somewhere around here, especially selected for you that I think you're going to enjoy. So until next time, bye for now.